Hey everybody, how's it going? So, I'm very, very, very excited about this trailer. Uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark was a book that terrified any, any 90s, 90s baby. I know it scared the crap out of me. And then I'm hearing that this book is actually banned in schools because it's too scary. Whoa. And it's none other um, written and produced by Guillermo del Toro, like the monster legend. I swear to God, all of his movies are amazing and they're just so imaginative and dark and just... He has his own style, like Tim Burton does, and I really, really respect it. So, I'm so excited to see this. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, and then I'm wearing my I Like Scary Movies shirt. If you're in the L.A. area and you haven't been to that um, exhibit, you need to go to it because it's absolutely incredible. All right, no talking. Let's react. Here we go. Oh, God. What's that? It's your book of scary stories. Little teaser. Some people believe if we repeat stories often enough, they become real. They make us who we are. That can be scary. Eat it, Harold. Oh, shit. Do you want to see Haunted House? Oh, I'm loving this music. Some kids went missing, so they boarded it up. Okay, we saw it. Can we go now? Who ordered the chicken? Yeah. What's that? It's a book of scary stories. Tell me a story. Oh, fuck that noise. Hey, what's going on? Tommy's missing. Tommy's name was in the book. There's no way it's actually connected, right? Okay, what if what happens in the book is exactly what's happened for real? Oh my god. Andy! Stella! Listen, you're in the next story. We're reading it right here. It's a corpse looking for her missing toe. <laughs> Something up. You shouldn't have taken the book. We've got to stop it. Sarah Bellows' book. When the stories write themselves and it all comes alive. Jangly man is coming. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. From Academy Award winner Guillermo del Toro. Man, that has him written all over this film. Holy crap. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. This film is not yet rated, so it's obviously going to be PG-13 or R. I is it considered a kids book or a, you know children's novel? I don't think so. It's probably for teenagers, so they'll probably go with the PG-13 route, so they can I know up the box office because if they have an R, it's going to be very very limited. So hope they're smart and do a PG-13. But I kind of want an R-rated version of this because. Jeez, even the artwork alone from the novel is terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. But these monsters look amazing. And with Guillermo del Toro involved, I don't have any worries. Some parts do look a little cheesy and stuff. It reminds me a lot of, like, Goosebumps and stuff. But I hope with the entire package, it just blows my mind. Oh, I'm so excited. August 9th. Oh, it's just, like, two months away. Mm. Anyway, and there are rumors that this will be introduced in this year's Halloween Horror Nights. We'll see. 
cross fingers because that would be amazing if it were because it's perfect it's perfect oh i'm so in so what do you guys think uh let me know your thoughts uh are you excited to see it are you saying hell no to this or um are you a little bit curious and if you've read the book did it terrify you as it did me because holy crap all right guys have a good one bye